Hey, YouTubers. Me and a buddy of mine went to a military and gun show today, and I picked up a few things. Now, I was looking for some military patches. Uh, there wasn't a lot. One guy there had a bunch of patches, but they were kind of they were police ones. And what I'm into, so I picked up this one here. Now, this is the Canadian coat of arms. Now, that in there is Latin, and it means from sea to sea. Uh, I was told how to pronounce it, but I have hard enough time with English, so I'll leave the Latin. Picked up some brass. Got a few rounds of 338 Winchester Magnum. Uh, I don't have a 338 yet, but that's the. Uh, for when I get one, I'll have uh, at least six rounds I can reload. I picked up a few rounds of surplus 308 Winchester. 20 rounds of that. Got a good price on that. Now, as for my uh, ammo collection, I picked up a few things I thought were kind of cool. Got some Dominion CIL. 35 Winchester or 35 Remington. Let's show them off here. Kind of obsolete, but I like the box. Got a good deal on them. I see a few uh, 35 Remingtons for sale every now and then at the show. It says 35 Remington, 35 Remington Auto, or 35 Browning Auto. And not a bad, not bad shape. It's pretty cool. So I got that, and this one's a little beat up, but he kind of threw it in because I bought some other stuff. It's an Imperial shotgun. As you can see, somebody's taped the lid, and so it's a pretty banged up shape. Uh, 12 gauge, two and three quarter, super cleans, uh, blah, 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 steel reinforced. I'll show them to you. They are... Pretty ripe. They're the old paper shells. If anybody hasn't seen those before. Old paper hulls. Got some corrosion on them. They probably still fire, but I don't think I'm going to shoot them. Uh, Imperial Canada. Made in Canada. Dominion or Imperial. These are number sixes. That says Special Long Range Smokeless. So I picked up a box of those. Like I said, I bought some other stuff, so he just kind of threw those in as a package. I've seen he had these for quite a while at the show, so I think he just wanted to get rid of them. Right there, number seven and a half. Not sure what year these are from. If anybody knows, they can chime in on those. And these ones, this is more for the Canadian guys. Uh, if anybody knows what year these are were from, um, I know there's other guys out there that have more more into historical facts than I am, but these are really cool. i say this is more for Canadians, but it's from Can uh, Canadian Tire. This is a Mastercraft 12 gauge shells. Uh, these are two and three quarter and they got plastic on it, so uh, shotgun shells, standard loads. The price on them is written on there is $2.44. Now these are seven and a half. Couldn't find a year on it, but you know, I'll have a I look at that, maybe somebody knows uh, what year these are from. The ones I remember when I was a kid were the uh, the one guy who I, I bought these ones off of. He used to have a box of them, but he, he must have sold them or didn't bring them. But anyways, were the uh, the Supreme uh, Canadian Tire ones, but they were that brown and orange color. You guys probably know what I'm talking about. Some of the older guys, maybe the younger guys don't want to, you might want to see them at the gun shows, but uh, I'm not sure what year these came out, but uh, I'll show them to you. It's blue with a brass cap on them. They're, you see, kind of corroded too. They'd probably still fire, but like I said, I'm not going to shoot them. Number eights. Full box of those. The box ain't in too bad of shape, but I thought they were pretty cool. I like I don't remember these from when I was younger. I remember that ugly uh, orange and brown ones. I also got these ones. Now that's, I think these are probably a little bit newer, but just because that's more of the modern uh, style of uh, Master Crap, or Master Craft, or Massive Crap, depending on the, the luck you've had with Canadian Tire brand stuff. Uh, these are seven and a half. These were three dollars and thirty-three cents. Uh, they were about, uh, no, well it says seventy-five. So I don't know if that's nineteen seventy-five or. It's just 
like I say, uh, some of the uh, guys have got more historical facts on this stuff. We'd write in there uh, if you know what year these are from. I don't remember them when I was a kid. I'm not trying to date myself or anything like that, but uh, yeah, these are two and three quarters, seven and a half. The, it's kind of a eclectic mix of stuff in here, but for the most part it's the same thing. Plastic hulls, number eights with the, well, box says seven and a half, but these are eights, so I don't know what the hell. But anyways, uh, the copper tops, copper caps, and they got some corrosion on them too. Then I was looking at, when I opened it up, we got some other ones in here. We got some more Imperial CILs. And these are plastic ones, and this one's really cool. Definitely want to. I'm gonna clean this one up, get some of the brasso and clean it. I'm gonna uh, see if I can switch the camera to um, macro so you can read this. So hang on a second. If you can read that, Canuck. So it was uh, kind of meant to be that I bought this box. <laughs> that was kind of cool, and I uh, opened it up. Target load, Canuck CIL. 12 gauge. So that's basically all I bought. Uh, a buddy of mine that went with me, he bought a uh, homemade uh, longbow. This guy there makes them out of, um, if you see them on uh, chain link fences, there's these strips of fiberglass. What you do is just layer those up and tape them together or whatever. And if you pick one up, it's pretty cool. I'm going to see if I uh, let me uh, do a video on it. But, uh, Sorry, I can't switch back and forth without shutting it off. It doesn't work out well. So, but anyways, this is what I got. Some more. Uh, uh, he kind of threw this one really cheap, so it's kind of tore up on this side. But some more boxes for my little collection. Then wasn't a really big collector, but I saw these. I thought they were kind of cool. I like this, especially the, you know the ones that are Canadian. You know. Our coat of arms there. So I think that's pretty much it. Um, you know, I had a kind of a tight budget, but I think I did all right. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. As always, we'll see you on the flip side.